Thank you. So namaste and good morning and welcome once again to another episode of Dekho Apna Desh. It's such an amazing series, viewers, and it never, never, you know, kind of stops amazing me. And I'm sure it is the same for you because every time the citizens of India, and why I use that term citizens of India is because this is your platform, Dekho Apna Desh and Dikhao Apna Desh is your program, you guys drive it. And it is so really fascinating, therefore, to keep getting such amazing concepts that keep coming. And therefore, before I even introduce to you the today's concept and the presenters of today, I want to reach out to all of you and say that if any of you has something very interesting in that look, little nook, that little cranny of your lives, and you want to showcase it not just to the other fellow Indians, but to people across the world, Join in our initiative of Dekho and Dikhao, Apna Sundar Atulya Bharat, because our country is incredible and it is truly, truly, so I should say full of gems all around, but more interestingly, it is also about how we tell our stories. And therefore, I am reaching out to all of you that as and when you think you are ready to present something on this amazing platform, then do reach out to us. Our contact details are available on the website in the Ministry of Tourism. The emails are there. You can reach out through friends. You can reach out so many ways if you really want to reach out. There's social media. You can write to us on Instagram. You can write to us on Twitter. You can write to us on the Facebook. So if you want to reach out, do reach out. But today, as you're going to start your Saturday, a little lazy Saturday for some of you. Some of you would have already woken up very early in the morning and gone cycling. Some of you would be planning to hike and do a lot of other things. Well, today we are going to bring to you stories on wheels. And we've done motorcycles, we've done the cars, we've uh, done some really interesting uh, exploring on feet, we've done trekking, we've done a lot of things. So what are stories on wheels so different about then? It's about a three wheel here. It's about the rickshaw. And while a rickshaw is not really a new thing for most of us in, I think, most parts of India. However, how in this case is rickshaw being used to see and showcase our incredible India is the journey that you're going to see for the next one hour or so. And I'm sure you'll all have a lot of questions and you all will also have a lot of ideas on how rickshaw itself can be used as such an amazing process, not just of creating employment, but also a very amazing way of showcasing the incredible India. So I'm gonna welcome three of uh, our very interesting people themselves involved with tourism in so many ways. And I'm gonna ask them to showcase this very beautiful product of our country. So. The first one coming on board today is uh, Dr. Sachin Bansal. Sachin is not new to Dekho Apna Desh. Sachin has presented, if I'm not wrong, Varanasi. And if you presented something else and I've forgotten, don't blame it on me. We've done 90 webinars till now. It becomes hard sometimes to remember who's presented what. But Sachin, welcome. And uh, Sachin is the founder and chief uh, of the City Explorers. And he is a tourism entrepreneur. And while he is not a new person to business, but to tourism, he came after about almost uh, two decades of working in corporate life and then realizing that his heart lay entirely elsewhere. So welcome Sachin to Dekho Apna Desh. Dr. Shomi Roy, you are definitely not a new face to Dekho Apna Desh. You were the first ones to steer Delhi for us. Right. And uh, you've done a lot of things with us after that. And I am so happy and privileged to introduce you once again. And uh, Dr. Shomi Roy, a PhD in history from the University of Delhi. She studied in uh, JNU. And more than that, she is an avid traveler and she's an avid storyteller. So history through a storyteller, I think you can't ask for a better combination. So Shomi, welcome. And uh, Shravan. Shravan uh, Chinchwadkar, you are one of our own in the sense that you are a product of the Institute at Gwalior. That is the premier institute uh, viewers in travel and tourism uh, management, which has been there for a long, long time. And most of the uh, capacity building that has happened in the sector 
has been uh, pioneered and steered by the IITTM Qualia. So, Shavan, uh, you are a pass out you mentioned of 2016 batch. Yep. So, extremely happy to have an alma mater, so to say, of the ministry, and uh, very happy to see you join in today. And you are the youngest of the three of them. So, you'll also, I think, be able to add very different dimensions because India is a young country. We call ourselves very ancient. We go back thousands of years, but we are also a very young country because we have youngsters like Shravan as a huge part of our population. And they are part of our demographic dividend. And they are also a part of inheriting something where we say we are as ancient as we are. And yet we are as modern as we are driven by science and technology. We are there in the space. We are, we are just about in every field whether we look at pioneering research for vaccines for COVID, India has been up there for everything. So Shravan, welcome to you also to join in Dekho Apna Desh. And we look forward to many more such youngsters joining into our campaign of Dekho Apna Desh. So I am going to leave it to Sachin to start the peddling on the rickshaw and take us through our beautiful country. Sachin. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you uh, for giving us the opportunity to present this webinar today. Previously, our uh, team presented an edition on storytelling session on Delhi, a photo walking experience through city of Varanasi, Lake City Bhopal, Agra beyond Taj, historic episodes of 1857, and a visit to cellular jails. Uh, our intent is to bring cultural heritage closer. We brought the local communities as partners to make a significant contribution in tourism sector, envisioning to celebrate India. Today, as we bring another addition to the fantastic Dekho Apna Desh series, I wish to reiterate that tourism, explorations, holidays actually binds the individual together with the excitement for new discoveries, knowledge, and creating travel memories. Today's session is a little different from the rest as we embark on the terrains of stories on wheels. From the early modern period to contemporary times, these stories on wheels are going to give you a captivating time. Our custom design rickshaws traverse through the medieval city of Shah Jahanabad like none other. Today's webinar is dedicated to this humble rickshaw ride, not just from Delhi or India, but from across the globe. From responsible tourism standpoint, we brought dignity of labor, skill mitigation, and social awareness through rickshaw tours. Our nation has diverse landscape, cultures, multiple faiths, and multiple celebrations. We offer innovative ways through our digital interface in form of live commentary, pre-recorded audio guides, and virtual tours to manage the perception of the areas for the future visit. A simple three-wheel structure since the beginning of the 19th century now needs to be looked at as a medium of tourism growth and traveler engagement. I am delighted to share with all of you that over several years of my entrepreneurial journey, if there is one thing of the many that I pride in, then that would be our experiential tour delivery on this custom design rickshaw. While creating this showcase, we all got tears, joy, sense of fulfillment because of the impact that we have created. We integrated responsible practices very early in the revenue models and aligned our business on a mantra of no footprints by city explorer. Delightful and exciting, these rides have been taken by several dignitaries, industry power names, celebrities, bureaucrats, global travelers, and our very own fellow citizens. We match tourism products and traveler profiles with present and past scenarios that can add value to their itineraries through real ride experiences. For us, our flagship brands are sustainable and operate responsible. The spectrum of our responsible business operations are in form of community support and visitor awareness that you're gonna see in the further slides. We extend seamless integrations expertise to hotels, resorts, entertainment zones, visitor attraction, and real estate projects to deliver customer delight. To share the history, heritage, and stories of these rickshaws, today's session will be co-led by Dr. Shomi Roy and my colleague Shravan. We are here to share with you the evolution of cycle rickshaws and its contribution to the tourism industry so far. We also wish to take this opportunity to raise the idea that cycle rickshaws can be a fantastic prop in the post-COVID tourism scenario. The Indian cities and the rural spaces with several socio-cultural experiences can get maximized with the introduction of richer tours. Without taking much of your time, I now hand over the session proceedings to my colleague Shomi and Shravan. Things that we take for granted today were actually inventions a few centuries back. 
this simple looking invention of a wheel changed the course of not just transportation, but many allied industries. Today, if it wasn't the wheel, then it would not be, uh, we will not be speaking about the rickshaws. And hence, it is imperative to acknowledge the modest wheel first and then move on to the three-wheeled vehicle. Going by historical records, um, the Mesopotamian civilization is credited with the invention of the wheel. Wheels, our greatest invention, became fundamental to transport and later to agriculture, then industries and the world that we live in today. The wheel has also become a strong cultural and spiritual metaphor for a cycle or regular repetition like a chakra, reincarnation, yin and yang amongst the others. In modern usage, the invention of wheel can be considered as a symbol of one such first technology of early civilization. Alongside farming and metalwork, and thus it became a benchmark to grade the level of societal progress. As the wheel moved, so did advancement. In this facet of invention came an addition, which was later called the rickshaws. It is widely noted that um, even before the entire debate of who invented the rickshaws or when was it invented, we have some visuals of the rickshaws, um, rickshaw looking carriage from France. Um, what you see on screen is a painting from the early 18th century, which is the year 1707. The painting Le Deux Carros, pardon my uh, French pronunciation, by Claude Guillaume is possibly the earliest visual document of what is certainly a precursor to the Asian rickshaws. Also available is an 18th century etching by Charles Germain de Saint-Aubion, uh, titled La Boré, which shows two butterflies navigating a similar looking um, vehicle like a rickshaw. Taking this as a reference, we do not see the use of rickshaws anywhere close to Europe. Rather, it moves continents. More than a century later, what happens is we see uh, the first use of rickshaws in Japan. Though this is highly debatable and hence we are here to share with you all the accepted versions of invention in the history of rickshaws. Starting with the most accepted theory of invention, the credit goes to Isumi Yosuke with Tuzuki uh, Suzuki and Takayama Kosuke. They were believed to have invented the first rickshaw in Japan in 1869, inspired by horse carriages that had been introduced to the streets of Tokyo shortly before. Starting in 1870, the Tokyo government issued uh, the permission to build and sell rickshaws to these three men, which I mentioned about uh, Yosuke, Suzuki, Tojukiro, and Takayama Kosuke. And the seal of one of these inventors was supposed to be used in every licensed rickshaw to be operated. By 1872, some 40,000 rickshaws were operating in Tokyo. They soon became the chief form of public transportation in Japan. The next big name in the series of uh, rickshaw innovation invention came actually from Japan, uh, though he was an American citizen. We are talking about Jonathan Scooby, who is also known as Jonathan Gobble, uh, who is said to have invented the rickshaw around 1869 to transport his wife through the streets of Yokohama. We also have a popular name of an American blacksmith called Albert Tolman, who is said to have uh, invented the rickshaw in 1846 in Massachusetts for the South American bound missionary. In New Jersey, the Burlington County Historical Society claims an invention in 1869 by carriage maker J James Birch, and he exhibited it in the Birch rickshaw of its museums. However, all of this proof that I spoke of, of invention scattered along the rickshaw timeline concludes very little about if anyone actually invented it. The rickshaw being such a um, reasonable, logical progression of the cart and wagon was almost likely created in several places around the uh, globe at the same time. That is exactly what the evidence on record indicates. However, there is a key moment that is central to the popularity of the rickshaws and is correlated with the rise and need um, of the cheap transportation during the urbanization and foreign trade. Within no time, the rickshaws popularized into the metro cities of Asian continent. Today, in India, we often see the rickshaws, uh, sorry, uh, no, actually we do not see the rickshaws, we completely ignore them, 
as just another means of transportation on the street, which could be taken only if that is your last option. However, if we were to go by the global trajectory of the rickshaws, the celebration of this three-wheeled wonder has been very different in different countries. Let us begin with some of the popular names of our humble rickshaw. Velo taxi, used in Germany, Cyclo in Vietnam and Cambodia, Pedicab, used in uh, United Kingdom, United States and Canada, Bike taxi, uh, New York, BC taxi, Mexico, Trishaws, Padiac, Cicad, all in uh, Philippines and it just the list keeps on um, and it goes on. It is established that rickshaws are a popular method of transport and tourism in many countries across the world. These pedal powered vehicles are especially popular in cities and urban areas that attract crowds of tourists. Um, these are used as means of transportation and especially popular with tourists as their slower pace is good for sightseeing. From this global audience, then how did rickshaws actually become an Asian phenomenon? That explains with our three C's, colonialism, capitalism, corporations. These three C's changed the Asian trajectory. One such impact of the three C's was the introduction of different means of transportation. As the ports uh, began to grow and trade expanded, there was a need constantly for transportation of people and goods from the docks. This gave the necessity to constantly bring in faster and convenient modes of transportation. Our humble rickshaws was inherently added to the list very soon. The rickshaws may very well have been a Japanese or an American invention, but it is most likely the British or the colonial empire that was responsible for its rapid spread and growth. Tracing the Japanese root, the word rickshaw originated from the Japanese word jin ri kisi, uh, where jin stands for human, riki for power for, or force, and sha for vehicle, giving rise to the literal meaning human powered vehicle. Uh, so jin riksa or jin riki sa is the human powered vehicle which comes through. Originally invented in Japan around 1869, it was, uh, it was the same time when major technological advancements were taking place during the Tokugawa period and a boom in urban sector in Japan gave birth to the rickshaws. An absolutely stunning picture was taken in Yokohama between the period 1863-1884 by photographer Phyllis Biato, which is right up on your screen. Um, yet another variant of the rickshaw, the trisha, was first introduced in Singapore in 1914. It was only in the late um, 1920s that the trishas became uh, very popular and, it, it, and its use increased with more Chinese immigrants coming to Singapore and finding the trishas riding, uh, providing them a viable occupation and employment. As it was easier to drive, the trishas actually soon became popular not only in Singapore, but also in Hong Kong, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam, and throughout Asia. World War II um, and the consequent lack of petrol fueled the use of trishaws even much more. Moving from one continent to another, the rickshaws surfaced in Africa. The picture here on the slide shows something different. Yes, the difference was in the people pulling the rickshaws. African rickshaw pullers, or amahasi, literally translating into horses, were an indispensable part of Durban's transport system with the early 20th century. And by the time this postcard that you see on your screen, which was produced by Sallow Epstein and company in about 1907, their distinctive and elaborate costumes had already become a tourist attraction. Uh, their popularity as a means of transport is reflected in the dramatic rise in the numbers of new vehicles and pullers on the Durban streets. Coming closer to India, we find yet another variant of the rickshaws in Indonesia called the bikak. How do the Indonesians define the bikak? Uh, they say, and I quote here, bikak is unique traditional vehicle that you find across Java, Bali and Sumatra. This type of transportation is constructed using three wheels with a driver uh, who pedals from the back. Bikak uh, became very uh, much a part of Indonesia in late 20th century. 
Some versions also believe that it came to Indonesia via the Chinese merchants. Now, this is how we keep moving forward and take the Bikaks to a small country, which is um, called and where it is being called as Saikya. Myanmar has different story to tell. The government had outlawed motorbikes of all kinds in the central Yangon. This gave the three wheelers a free access to the best regions of the country and the city. The name Saika uh, sounds a strange foreign word, but truly it is a phonetic translation of the English word, the word side car. That's how it's pronunciated as Saika. In Myanmar, cycle rickshaws or trishaws uh, came first into uh, the wide use approximately around 1938. Time and again, the Burmese revolted against the English rule. In one such episode, they consciously boycotted uh, British goods and services. The auto body technician, Saya Nyo, built the first trishaw in Mandalay by attaching a side car to the side of an old bicycle and introduce the new transportation to the list. If Myanmar had an English connection to bring the rickshaws, Vietnam had a French connection. It is popularly called as cyclo, uh, from the French word cyclo. Uh, cyclo was in an invention by a French national, which was introduced in Cambodia and Sinan in uh, 1939. Uh, with the successful run of uh, for multiple decades, the cyclos were actually discontinued, unfortunately, in 2012, owing to the rising traffic on the streets, except the cyclo tours were organized by the tourist agencies because these were a fantastic um, uh, tour attractions. In fact, Cyclo, a 1995 film about the cyclo driver, won the Golden Lion at the 52nd Venice International Film Festival showing the popularity of the vehicle and its presence in the socio-cultural fabric of Vietnam. From Ho Chi Minh City, where the rickshaws were discontinued but used only for tourism, we are moving to a city where rickshaws are still most widely used. So much so that it won't be wrong to say that it is the uh, rickshaw capital. We are talking about none other than Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. Dhaka got rickshaws from Calcutta, where it was first introduced uh, around 1930. The new vehicle aroused a great curiosity amongst the people in Dhaka. Unlike in all of Southeast Asian countries, rickshaws in Bangladesh have had a lasting foothold. One of the unique things about the rickshaws of Dhaka is its art. You can see a glimpse of it on the screen. The rickshaw art is mainly an urban phenomena and perhaps dates back to approximately 1950s. It shares some similarity of uh, theme and execution with movie billboards, uh, which may be ascribed to the fact that many rickshaw painters had either themselves painted uh, movie billboards or had apprenticed with, the, uh, with such painters because of which they beautifully decorate their rickshaws just the way it's up on your screen. Our rickshaw explorations uh, is now moving to Shanghai, China. A new form of conveyance came into Shanghai in 1874, which proved in some ways to be a nuisance and in others, but a great convenience. It was imported from Japan and um, at the rickshaws where at first they were not very popular, but soon became uh, very, very useful and hence outnumbered in quite a lot of ways. Finally, the last chapter of this segment comes from Warsaw, Poland. The slide on your screen depicts a uh, picture from World War II. During the World War II, when Poland was under German occupation, the German authorities conf confiscated most uh, privately owned cars and many of the streetcars and buses. So there was no actually public mode of transportation. Because of that, uh, public transport was actually partially replaced by cycle rickshaws. At first improvised and with time, it was mass produced by the bicycle factories. Cycle rickshaws became popular in Warsaw. Uh, with this, we are now moving into our next section on the rickshaw ride. And I'm requesting my colleague Shravan to take the screen space. We are now riding into the purview of India's socio-cultural acceptance of a new mode of transportation, the rickshaws. In this segment, we will be looking at how different Indian cities 
adapted to the use of rickshaw over a period of time. Our focus in this segment will be on tourism and how the rickshaws have played a positive role in it. Around 1880s, rickshaw appeared in India, first in Shimla. Rickshaws were either imported or built by a missionary named Rev. J. Fortis. He is the one who plays the title role in Kipling's book, The Phantom Rickshaw. The book is set in Simla and was published in 1888. It is one of the earliest literary references of rickshaws in India. How rickshaws arrived in Simla is not documented. But the most interesting thing about the Simla rickshaw was it was an iron vehicle, unlike the wooden one in Japan. The rickshaw was heavy and cumbersome, and it also required five men to navigate. There were two men in the front, two in the back, and then one to run alongside and maneuver the rickshaw. This rickshaw may have been the one that was designed by Massachusetts blacksmith, Albert Tolman. These, these same rickshaws made their way to Kolkata only after 20 years after they appeared in Shimla. Around 1914, the rickshaws appeared in big cities in Southeast Asia. Pulling a rickshaw was often the first job for peasants migrating to these cities. The model that made its way to Kolkata was inspired by Japan. Before the introduction of rickshaws, the city's high-born class, including zamidars and landlords, uh, used to jaunt in their embellished palanquins, showing their elite socioeconomic class. Hand-pulled rickshaws came to be the bourgeois answer to palanquin. The image on the slide showcases the Tana rickshaw or the Hath rickshaw model of Kolkata. Hand-pulled rickshaws offer respite when the lanes or, and alleyways of old part of the city are impassable to taxis, cars, and autos due to waterlogging in the thick of monsoon. Kolkata is the only city to keep up the hand-pulled rickshaw while this mode of transportation has been rolled back from the rest of Asia. Today, this form of rickshaw pulling has drawn a lot of attention towards the well-being of the puller. This is now limited in availability and can only be found in some rare corners of the city. Though, if you are a traveler, you can find this traditional ride during the North Kolkata experience. Moving from the city of Joy to the city of Nawabs, we are to explore the Nawabi rickshaw ride. The city of Nawabs is famous for its architecture and food. One can easily go on a cultural and a food trail sitting in a rickshaw ride. In our culturally rich cities like Lucknow, Bhopal, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Delhi, Amritsar, and many more, one of the best mediums of exploration is the rickshaw. The slow experiences of Lucknow's erstwhile Nawabi charm can be explored and experienced on rickshaw ride with live storytelling as you pass every lane. After the slow experiences and tales, we reach the city of Jaipur. The color changes and so does the pace. A typical rickshaw ride in Jaipur puts you in the middle of the hustle and bustle of the market, where you wish to hop on and hop off at your convenience. Often called the pink city, Jaipur is a perfect mix of craftsmanship, cuisine and architecture. The markets of Jaipur can leave you mesmerized with the variety of textiles, crafts, handloom, handicrafts, and everything that is exquisite. Once you're tired of shopping, you can take the rickshaw to experience the delicacies of the city. Jaipur's royal enclosure and the, its fortified walls once saw the marches of camels, elephants, and palanquins. Now, a fraction of this charm can be enjoyed on the customized royal carriages of the rickshaws. From the pink city, we move on to the city of lights. If you ever heard someone saying India is the land of aesthetics, the sages and everything mystic, then you have to make a visit to Varanasi to experience it. The city is also known as Kashi or Banaras and is said to be one of the oldest cities in the world. While you are in this city, the inquisitive traveler in you can actually chase the quest of finding hidden gems on a rickshaw ride. Our best pick for rickshaw experience would be the at dawn, at dusk experience. An early morning rickshaw ride to Asikhat, experiencing the Ganga Aarti, heading towards the Akhara experience, followed by spiritual visits and a mouth-watering breakfast. This is one aspect that everyone must experience. Another city which rather welcomed the rickshaw rides for tourists with a great pomp and show 
is Amritsar. In fact, the entire state of Punjab has been successfully continuing the tradition of rickshaw rides for years now. For any tourist wishing to tap onto the pulse of this historic city, a rickshaw ride is a must. Apart from the tourist attractions, a typical rickshaw image from Amritsar captures the rickshaw pullers with big garment loads varying from one stop to another, acting as lifelines for traders. But for all those in audience who are yet to make their visit to Amritsar, please do experience the rickshaw ride. Last but not the least on the rickshaw tours list is Puducherry. The city strikes a chord with the tourist for its unique blend of colonial remnants and indigenous offerings. The rickshaw came from Calcutta to Puducherry during the colonial period. At the beginning, it was a hand-pulled rickshaw, which was eventually replaced by the cycle rickshaws. The charm of the French architectural patterns, the bright doorways, and the boulevards all can be gently experienced with the gushing sea winds on the rickshaw cycle rides. Rickshaws and rickshaw, uh, cycle rickshaws are not alien rides to the tourist destinations. There have been many documentaries on rickshaw pullers from the city. The one that I remember watching was on Selvaraj, a cycle rickshaw puller and a crow. A beautiful two minute documentary and it's also available on YouTube. The precise reason we chose to mention this documentary with you is because rickshaws and the life of cycle rickshaw puller is a part of everyday little joy that we often miss. It is an experience local by locals aspect of tourism. On this slide, we have Mahatma Gandhi exiting on a rickshaw after his meeting with the Viceroy in Shimla. Through celebrating the lives of the locals, we must not forget every time anyone wanted to connect with the locals or share the same sentiment, rickshaws have been the medium of such messages. The same holds true even today. The rickshaws and the rickshaw rides have been a part and parcel of day-to-day -day life in some form or the other. The same mode of transportation has been depicted with glitz and glamour, even on the silver screen. Yes, we are talking about a celebrated mainstream Bollywood. One of the most powerful depictions of cycle rickshaw and the rickshaw puller has been in the movie Do Biga Zameen, directed by Bimal Roy in 1953. The character of rickshaw puller was brought to life by the celebrated actor of yesteryears, Balrat Sahani. The film was known for its socialist theme and was a trendsetter. It is an important film in the early parallel cinema of India. It was the first Indian film to win an award at the Cannes Film Festival. The film portrayed a complex narrative of a migrant life. If Dobhiga Zameen showed the complex narrative, then we have a documentary film titled Ladakh Chale Rikshawala, which details out the journey of Satyan Das from Kolkata to Ladakh in 2014. Recently, the documentary was awarded with the Best Exploration Adventure Film at the 65th National Film Award. Imagine what it's like traveling over 3,000 kilometers from Kolkata to Ladakh on a cycle fiction. Finally, it is time to recall all the glitz and glamour that our silver screens have dazzled us with. Here are some of the memorable shots from Bollywood mainstream cinema showcasing the rickshaws. Every time, the celebrities have taken on a cycle rickshaw. The feel of the vehicle has changed, giving it a royal feeling, a nostalgic touch, a local flavor, and a customized access. Bringing it all together for tourism is rickshaw tour. The rickshaw tours have been successfully venturing through the alleys of Old Delhi for the last six years. The custom designed rickshaws are nothing less than the royal carriages. Graced by who's who of the global audiences, we are now going to take you on a fun ride. So now sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. One of the best wholesome experiences on the rickshaws is the food experience. At your comfort, in your space, and yet you get to taste the delicacies. This is the beauty of this customized experience. If you thought food was the best, then you are mistaken. The rickshaw rides are not just convenient for food tours, but also for ladies who wish to take a spin around Old Delhi without any worries. One of the safest bets, rickshaw tours creates that safe zone around you while you immerse yourself in stories and surroundings. Food and safety are checked. 
Now it is for kids to have fun. What can be a better option than the rickshaw ride ensuring the safety and comfort both? On your screen, you have a glimpse of the fun time that kids have on the tours. And yes, finally, for all the tourists and fellow residents who have always wished to experience the charm of old city and are skeptical about the rush, the rickshaw tours has a solution for all. Riding through the hustle bustle of a busy market and yet keeping your social distance brings you the best of both worlds. Overall, the rickshaws from the 19th century hold a strong ground in our society. It definitely adds to the customer delight and hence can be integrated with tourism for enhancement of a destination. We are now going to quickly share with you some of the captured moments when tourism was booming. Here's hoping those days come back soon. A bunch of smiling faces as they begin the rickshaw ride from the Red Fort parking. A pre-ride prep session on the way with audio sets in place for in-route storytelling. With the headsets on, it's live narration all throughout the journey, transporting you to the yesteryears of charm and glory. And when you need the details, we ensure that you get them, all attentively listening to the stories being shared by a city explorer. These memories are the ones that are cherished for a lifetime. Be it the lovely couples, fun rides on rickshaws with delicacies, helping travelers and enthusiasts in experiencing the best kept secret of Shah Jahanabad. In pre-pandemic times or now, we will always ensure safety, hygiene, authenticity in these explorations. There's a quick glance in a video of the fun times we have had together with our guests on the rickshaw tours. Times that have made us feel nostalgic, times that have uh, made us remind of the fun times. Here's a quick video for all of them. hospitality and thoughtfulness in making sure everyone's safe and enjoying themselves was great. The colors, the people, the sights and smells, and we felt safe, it was great. The 
I have been taking rickshaws in the old city since I was 18 years old. I'm now 51. It's the first time I've never, I haven't had an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, however pleased you are to be in the old city, you spend half the time arguing with a rickshaw owner. But instead, you get some lovely, pl plumpy seat that sinks gently below. I've got an umbrella, a bottle of water, I couldn't be happier. Seven us! Thank you, and namaste. It was amazing. We now bring to you a set of testimonials after that nostalgic ride, um, some memorable messages shared by our guests on their tours. We have on video Mr. Louis Jing Song, former Deputy Chief of Mission and Minister to India from China, Mr. Burak Akkapa, former Turkish Ambassador to India, Madam Miss Melba Priya, former Mexican Ambassador to India, and Mr. Christoph Van Overstraten, uh, the ex-commercial counsellor of Belgian Embassy in India. We wish to share with all our audience here today that rickshaw tours um, have had a success story. And these rickshaws, which have so far been a part of India's socio-cultural fabric for centuries now, can be easily integrated as a part of destination exploration for the rest of the India. Here's a quick uh, video exploring the same. As a Chinese uh, diplomat, uh, I like to help you make the promotion for this tour. If you want to see a diversified uh, India, come here. If you want to see a culture rich India, come here. If you want to see the religion, how harmonized people, different uh, ethnic, different uh, backgrounds, they can live together, come here. This is an incredible India. So much history here. There's so much culture there. There's so much potential here. So I, this is the way to put yourself forward. Thank you very much for taking me in the city walks to, to Old Delhi. It was fascinating. You know a lot and you make people feel comfortable without um, any knowledge. So thank you for the delicious food that we have on the way. It's incredible that you have these rickshaw tours. So thank you very much. You will see me again. I am Melba Priya. It was awesome. Thanks. It was a great team building experience. We enjoyed the various sites the uh, great stories behind the buildings we saw and uh, it's a great, great initiative, we enjoyed it, so thanks very much. It was great, we had the best driver, he would mingle around, we really got to see the like, great sense of what all Delhi looks like. It was very extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. A few more short videos that um, captures the essence of the rickshaw rides from all aspects, from travel industry experts like Mr. Tapas Banerjee, who is the Managing Director of Trinitra Tours, and Mr. Vikas Abbott, who is also the Managing Director of Vasco Travel. The success of uh, the rickshaw tours is also due to the support provided by our travel trade partners. I'm Tapas Banerjee from Trinitra Tours. I'm so delighted that rickshaw tours is being featured in this prestigious webinar. I wish them all the very luck. We were perhaps the pioneers who engaged in rickshaw tours and in a, in a pursuit to sort of add value to our tours. Our clients loved it. They found the information rendered by the engaging explorers fantastic. The, their knowledge, their way of uh, delivery, the interpersonal skills were amazing. So I really wish them all the luck. And I hope that such tours are introduced in other cities that have a legacy like Varanasi, Kolkata, Jaipur. It would be fantastic. I also feel that this is all. This is a very responsible uh, pattern of tourism because when you look at uh, the rickshaw driver, he's the last man standing, and the rickshaw to touch his lives. I think that the initiative in, introduced by Nidhi and Sachin Bansal is tremendous, and they've got a great team. And I wish them all the very best for all their future endeavors. We would we we have uh, pledged our support to them, and not for them, but it is basically for enriching the value and content of our tours. I just hope more tour operators sort of gain advantage, take advantage of this. All the very best to the rickshaw tour team. Thank you. Hello, friends. My name is uh, Vikas Abbott from Vasco Travel. We've been working with uh, India City Walks uh, for a very long time, probably uh, since their inception. And uh, the feedback uh, from my clients has always been very, very positive. They have loved the rickshaw ride of Old Delhi. They have loved the experience. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, 
lot of them have commented that it's been probably the best uh, trip they had uh, in India. What uh, we love about the experience is uh, the authenticity of, of the experience. It's uh, the, the clients get to experience the true sense of India, the smell, the taste, uh, the, uh, the warmth, our culture in a short span of three hours. And uh, also uh, what I personally love is uh, the adaptability of the explorers. The explorers looking at the client will adapt to their stories because at the end of the day, it's all about storytelling and India as a destination has lots of such stories to offer. And, and the explorers will adapt depending on the client's interest. If they are more inclined towards history, then the storytelling will move towards that direction. If it's a family of four with kids, then it is something which uh, would make the kids feel happy. That is something which I feel is very important. And uh, personally, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Nidhi Sachin Bansal and the entire team at uh, India City Walks to take, take such good care of our clients. And I wish them all the best uh, in all their future endeavors. Thank you very much and have a great day. With all of this, um here comes the most important part of the rickshaws, the stories on wheels. It is the rickshaw puller, the ones who make you get connected and blended like a local, the ones who ensure your safety and tread the path that you probably would not have taken alone. This segment celebrates our heritage heroes. Yes, that's what we call them. Uh, sharing with all of you some snippets from our conversations, some pictures that makes us nostalgic and celebrate the celebrity um, in rickshaws, that is the heritage heroes. Our heritage heroes in their full glory, they are the backbone. Um, like they say, it is not about what you experience, but how you experience it. And here you experience it with our heritage heroes. We have a, a quick snippet for that. Uh, we have the uh, rickshaw pullers on their video. Here is a message from our heritage hero, Parvez, who has been a part of our rickshaw tours for the last five years. My name is Mohammed Parvez Alam. I am a Bihar ka rehne wala hu, Aradiya district. Ka. Aur mera gaon hai, Piti Dumariya. Mere ghar mein, mere mummy papa hai, aur mein abhi ni shadi hai. So, I have a child, a small child. I have been here a long time. I have been here for the past five years in Delhi. I have been here for the past five years with India City Walk. And with India City Walk, we have got a lot of learning. And we have given that training that we can give others to others. और इस टाइम मैं वही चीज कर रहा हूं इंडस्ट्री वर्क के साथ कि जो ट्रेनिंग हमें मिला है मैं अपनी तरह ही और को ट्रेन कर रहा हूं टूर में करता हूं और कराता हूं रिक्शा टूर में सबसे अच्छी बात यह है कि शाहजहां के बाद जो बहुत ही अच्छी जगह है जो हमें समझना चाहिए वहां पे बहुत कुछ सीखने को और देखने को और ऐसी ऐसी जगह है जो दिल्ली में बहुत आदमी को पता नहीं है जो दिल्ली वालों को तक को पता नहीं है जो कि हम रिक्शा टूर से वो चीज देखते हैं और दिखाते हैं और उसके हिस्ट्री के ऊपर हम चलते हैं काम करते हैं तो एक एक चीज बहुत बारीकी से और बहुत अच्छी चीजें हैं वहां पे जो शाहजहांबाद के ऊपर है जो बहुत ही अच्छा लगता बहुत यूनिक चीज है मैं जब फॉरेनर्स आते हैं जब मैं उन्हें टूर कराता हूं रिक्शा टूर 
तो उस टाइम सबसे अच्छा ये लगता है कि मैं उन्हें अपने इंडिया के बारे में और बहुत अच्छी चीजें दिखाता हूँ और बहुत खुशी होता है उस टाइम बहुत प्राउड फील होता है कि हम उन्हें कुछ दिखा पा रहे हैं हमारे पास कुछ ऐसा है जो कि हम उन्हें दिखा पा रहे हैं और जो कि साथ साथ बात शाहजाना बात में दिखा रहे हैं जो कि ऑल दिल्ली में पूरा इससे अच्छी जगह जो कि है ही नहीं देखने लायक दिल्ली के अंदर इतना अच्छा है वो जो पुरानी हिस्ट्री पे जब हम चलते हैं पुरानी बिल्डिंग है शाहजहाबाद पतली पतली गलियाँ हैं खाने को बहुत ही अच्छी अच्छी चीज़ें हैं वेज नॉन वेज कबाब वगैरह बहुत ही अच्छी अच्छी चीज़ें यूनिक जो कि पूरी हिंदुस्तान में आप घूम लो वहाँ पे आपको उतना अच्छा नहीं मिलेगा खाने को एक एक चीज जितना कि आपको ऑल दिल्ली के अंदर मिल जाएगा चांदी चौक में सबसे पहले तो मैं एक्सपीरियंस वाला रिक्शा पोलो ढूंढता हूँ जो कि पहले पाँच साल दस साल आठ साल दो साल से चला रहा हूँ और वो काम कर रहा हूँ उस चीज पे उसके बाद में मैं उन्हें फिर से सारा ट्रेनिंग देता हूँ समझाता हूँ कि अगर हम फोनस के साथ चल रहे हैं मैं उनके सामने ना बीड़ी सिगरेट गुटखा पान ये सब कुछ भी नहीं करना है ना शोर मचाना है बिल्कुल इस तरीके से हमें दिखाना है कि नहीं भाई हम भी हैं हमारे इंडिया में भी बहुत कुछ है और रिक्शा पोलर जो हम उन्हें पकड़ते हैं तो पहले तो वो काफ़ी खराब हालत में होते हैं फिर हम उन्हें ला करके ट्रेन करते हैं समझाते हैं कि चीज़ें फिर उनका होलिया ठीक करते हैं कपड़े वगैरह हर चीज उनको शेविंग कपड़े शूज नीचे से एक एक चीज उनको बिल्कुल जैसे कि एक हीरो टाइप में हम उन्हें करके समझे देखते हैं हम ग्रुप लेकर के जाते हैं तो पहले हमें कुछ भी पता नहीं था कि हम ग्रुप को हैंडल कैसे करें कैसे संभालें पर जब हमें इतना अच्छा टीम मिला जो हमारे साथ गाइड होते हैं वो हमें इतने अच्छे तरीके से कोऑपरेट करते हैं और एक एक चीज बारीकी से हमें समझाया जाता है और खुद सिखाया जाता है और हमें खुद सीखने को वहाँ पे मिलता है कि अब ये चीज़ ऐसे करो इससे आपको बहुत अच्छा रिस्पॉन्स मिलेगा बहुत अच्छी इज्जत मिले और सबसे बड़ी बात यह है कि इसमें आपको इज्जत बहुत अच्छा मिलता है जो कि आपको कहीं नहीं मिल सकता तो इसमें इज्जत इतना अच्छा मिलता है कि हम खुद फॉरनर्स के साथ चल रहे हैं और हर कोई हमारी तरफ देखता है जो कभी नहीं देखे हैं या जो कोई देखते भी कोई भी हर पब्लिक चलते हुए हम सड़क पे चल रहे होते हैं सारी पब्लिक की नज़र हमारे ऊपर होती आते हैं कि बताओ बंदा फॉरनर्स के साथ चल रहा है तो ये बहुत बड़ी बात है और वहाँ पर हमें सीखने को बहुत कुछ मिलता है जो चीज़ हमने लाइफ में कभी सोचा नहीं था ना कभी देखा था वो वो चीज़ें हमें सीखने को वहाँ पर मिलता है और सीखने को मिलता अब जो ये है कि हम जो दिल्ली के अंदर कर रहे हैं और दिल्ली के अंदर पर हमारा ये है कि जिस तरीके से हम दिल्ली में कर रहे हैं उसी तरीके से अदर सिटी में करें पूरे इंडिया में और इंडिया में बहुत ऐसी जगह है इतनी अच्छी अच्छी जगह है जो कि हम दिखा सकते हैं उन्हें और वहाँ पे जा कर के जो बहुत सारे लोग ऐसे हैं जो रिक्शा ही चलाते हैं पर उनका कोई लाइफ और फ्यूचर नहीं है पर हम ये चाहते हैं कि उनको भी वो भी हमारे साथ जुड़ें और उनको अच्छे तरीके से पूरा ट्रेन करके मैनेज करके उनका भी लाइफ बहुत अच्छे से एकदम समझ जाए और सुधर जाए इस तरीके से हम करना चाहते हैं और इंडिया के अंदर इतनी इतनी अच्छी अच्छी जगह दिखाने के लिए पूरे इंडिया में कि जो कि हम और दिखाना चाहते हैं जितना हम करते जाते हैं हमारा दिल करता है और हम आगे बढ़ें और दिखाएँ और लोग जुड़े हमारे साथ कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा जितना हो सके कि हम ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा जो रिक्शा वाले हैं उनका हेल्प कर सके और उनको समझा सके और उनको ट्रेन करके हम इस इस लाइन में ला सकें आप सब से बहुत दिल से रिक्वेस्ट करता हूं कि आप एक बार फिर से इंडिया आए और ज़रूर आए और हमारे साथ इंडिया सिटी वॉक के साथ ज़रूर टूर करें बहुत ही मज़ा आएगा और बहुत ही अच्छा लगेगा थैंक यू The rickshaws are a prized possession in tourism. It has been a part of our heritage, and much of the time we can also use these as props to attract tourists. Away from Old Delhi, these rickshaws have been a part of many esteemed showcases and exhibitions where we have shared the stories of their cultural significance with the audience. Uh, on your screen, here is um, a, a few glimpses. Um, they have been a medium of innovative tourism product especially in the post pandemic times these will be the true uh, saviors in exploration a part of 
global showcase, our culture display is here right on your screen. Stories on wheels are not just limited to rickshaws. Uh, they are the mediums which have been part of our list. A special mention is of the tuk-tuk tours, coach tours and cycle tours and much more. You have already seen our royal carriages. Uh, yes, the rickshaws traversing through the lanes and by lanes of Delhi. It is now time for a quick snapshot into the terrains of tuk-tuks and cycles and coach. Auto rickshaws, or famously called the tuk-tuks, have been an addition to the stories on wheels. Uh, these are quirky, adventurous, romantic, fast-paced, and a far more exciting alternative to ordinary sightseeing excursions. Uh, this gives you an opportunity to explore like a local with a pace that you're comfortable with. Another spinner for tourism exploration is the cycle. Uh, in these lockdown months, I'm sure many of you have added a cycle to your list of possessions. Uh, not just for, just for fitness. Try these cycle tours for your neighborhood explorations with stories and adventure. Uh, here on your screen is a glimpse of our International Women's Day celebration with uh, BMW, BMW Cycles on um, at Latians Delhi. Um, final addition to the list on uh, stories on wheels is the coach tour. Live storytelling on the move with a large group of people only gets better with coach tours, be it on festivities or any regular sightseeing spree. The coach tours are ideal for any situation, any weather condition. With this, we are here at the last leg of our webinar, and I'm going to request Dr. Sachin Bansal to take the screen space now. Thank you. This uh, webinar fills me up with mixed emotions, you know, as it only reminds me of worry free travel and the hope that times will be better as we move forward with the vaccines. We intend to offer tourism experiences which make a positive impact on lives of every Indian. Some of our community impact programs like Water Heritage, Monument Friends, My Neighborhood, My Heritage, enhance employment, activate green touring, and create cultural discovery opportunities for residents and travelers. In new normal scenario, the tours and activities will be organized for visitors observing safety and hygiene guidelines while they discover heritage, explore natural, environments and have immersive interactions with local communities. We support Save Our Cultural Heritage Foundation as we understand these are unprecedented times and more than ever, it is important to create awareness around our cultural heritage. The aim of this foundation is to support an ecosystem where people could participate, engage, interact, act and reciprocate towards the betterment of their society. With this, I would like to thank everyone today and share that our responsibility design itineraries involve communities and bring economic success for tourism aspirants. Our heritage heroes, heritage enthusiasts, walk leaders, city champions, city explorers, a number of their designated personnel carry the burden of awareness and spearhead various tourism initiatives under our parent company, City Explorers. We impart training, awareness around cultural heritage tourism for holistic improvements. We also have a strategic folio, portfolio of tourism products, intellectual properties, and to showcase India's diverse offerings. We provide visitors a connected experience across India and create multi-sectoral opportunities within the tourism to benefit everyone involved. Once again, we thank Ministry of Tourism for giving us the opportunity to showcase our responsible and sustainable tourism product. Over to Deko Apna Desh team. Thank you. Thank you very much. The power pack SQ. I, I must say Sachin, Shravan and Shaomi. It was such a beautiful and um, topic. And we are glad that we could bring out to this platform. Dekho Apna Desh. And uh, while the session, I was like, personally, I was like, not just listening to the session. It was like I was leaving the session because from the childhood being from Calcutta, uh, from the childhood, it was a mandatory thing. It was a regular thing on traveling on rickshaw and then going for shopping and then enjoying the quick bite of rolls, varieties of rolls uh, uh, while traveling on rickshaw uh, from the uh, passing through from the uh, narrow lanes of Calcutta. It was a different experience. And 
as you said uh, that um, we, somewhere we have ignored or we have forgotten this kind of uh, experiences so it's it's very important to realize recognize this kind of experiences it makes a huge difference and then when you come to know about the history and the construction and their how it came to the picture like from the colonial um, era to japan to um, south africa then bangladesh uh, china poland it has i mean it has traveled throughout the world and then it entered to india from the city of calcutta to jaipur amritsar and pondicherry it's it's really very enlightening it's very enlightening thank you very much thank you and uh, so now we have already come to the end of this session right. and i like to thank uh, everyone on behalf of this M our entire mot team uh, for sharing and um, uh, now i would like to also share that uh, next session we are going to have another very interesting content on the wildlife on the state of odisha which will be presented by mr pradeepta mahapatra so till then be safe take care of yourself take care of the people around you and do not forget to put the mask when you are going out at the same time please carry your sanitizer with that enjoy your weekend see you next saturday do join us tata thank you bye bye thank you bye thank you very much thank you.